So I ran into this guy on my team. And I'm in the third seed, and he had Jimmy Butler, a whole bunch of bronzes, and a gold Joaquin Noah in his starting lineup. But I'm thinking, why is he, is he tanking or not? Like, who, who brings a gold and a silver player into a match if you want to quit? And does he want to quit? I don't, I don't know. But with that lineup, you wouldn't expect him to even stand a chance. So uh, we're, when he didn't quit by now, I was pretty surprised. But I was like, you know, I, I didn't expect it to last. So anyway, with the gameplay like this against a guy who is completely outmatched, you already know how it's going to end. So I figured I could use this time to go talk about other things. As you guys know, they released Jordan and, you know, Pippen, Sean Kemp. As of today, they've now also released a second Jordan and a second Pippen and a, a not only a, sec, a second, but also a third Horace Grant. 2K, why? I, I just, Jordan is such a game-breaking player. Do you know a single commentator other than me who doesn't have him? Not only is he game-breaking, but everybody has him. He's as common as a three-point shot. And the, the crazy part about Jordan is that now that you have two, you can't even foul him out. If Jordan gets tired, Jordan comes off the bench to replace Jordan. Jordan can play with Jordan in the starting lineup. And they're similar in statistics. It's not really that much of a difference because it's only a one-year difference. And the three horse grants, like, what, why didn't they make Jordan the legend collection? They The first series, they had everything right. You know, Walt... Dominique, Elgin. I don't agree with Gail Gerberich being the collection re um, reward. That was stupid. But nothing's dumber than having the greatest player of all time be the, the be a common player to get inside of a Bulls pack. Why? Since when was Horace Grant so great of a player that you need to collect 12 other ones to collect him? That doesn't make And then they give you Horace Grant inside the next pack like nothing. And they give you Horace Grant in the Magic Collection. The only one that makes sense, really, is Sean Kemp. Maybe Alonzo, that's arguable. And not even Moses Malone, because everybody already has Will Chamberlain. So Dr. J should be the special, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm making too much sense right now. I, I, don't, I don't know. But it, it just doesn't make sense why 2K would make these decisions. Like, I don't, I don't know who decided this. I don't know who's getting a paycheck to make this decision on putting Jordan now as a common player or putting him out this early, but he needs to be fired because he shouldn't be more common than a Sapphire Derrick Rose or uh, a Sapphire Blake Griffin. And they're going to have a Sapphire Michael Jordan from 95, 96. So just wait for soon. You guys may be able to get three Jordans. And if they are, you know they're going to release the 90, the 98, 97 Jordans. You know they're going to have that one because that one has Dennis Rodman in the pack. So just wait. Maybe you might have a starting lineup of five Jordans. It's possible, right? LeBron plays power forward in most people's mod teams, and that works successfully because, you know, Jordan has a 99 vertical also. So why, it, it's just it doesn't make sense to me. Why would 2K go this route? Why would they make the most – like right now, right now at this moment – are you going to tell me that Gail Goodrich is more uncommon, harder to get than Michael Jordan? Does that make sense to you? And then not only did they mess up with the last pack, not with the, the, the historic series too, but they had a second chance to fix this. And they put out Jordan again as a normal player to get for the next pack. The rare, pick, the rare collection reward is Scottie Pippen this time around. And Anybody can be good, Jordan. I don't want to hear, oh, I'm so nice in my team. You can't beat me. You know, I got one to two joints on the starting lineup. But no, anybody, any, anybody. And if you shoot less than 50% with Jordan in the game, that means you're probably only taking threes. He literally cannot be stopped by one defender consistently, regardless of who it is. He's faster than he is. He doesn't get Gatorade symbols. He draws fouls. I've, I've never got a, caught a charge on... Actually, no, I caught one charge on Jordan. One. But I played Jordan, like, literally for five days in a week. So, so I don't I don't know what they were thinking. This guy doesn't know what he was thinking. That's why he's quitting now. Not even waiting for the time to run out. And do you have Jordan? Do you play against Jordan every day? Let me know your experiences.